One of the uh, questions that we that I have here in my hands is it's interesting, and I don't know who would like to answer it, but. What is the relationship with Austin and Travis County when it comes to cooperation and when it comes to conflicts? Anybody? Going once? Going twice? <laughs> okay. We certainly... Brave um, Garter. Th th this is the county commissioners. And yes. uh, um, through the process of creating Imagine Austin, we made many, many trips to the county commissioner's court. And... Um, there, there are a lot of uh, overlaps between what they're interested in and uh, what uh, Austin is interested in. Um, I never detected that they, um, they had a different focus for what they wanted for Austin than, um, than the citizens of Austin as we used their input to create the plan. I thought it was fairly well aligned. But their responsibilities, their jurisdictions, their mm. how they operate are very different. different. And so that sets yeah. up challenges. Right, right. I will also add that the city council has a council committee on, I think they call it intergovernmental relations, made up of members of the city council, members from the county commissioner's court, and representatives of the Austin Independent School District. And that particular committee meets on a regular basis to discuss issues that are common and maybe uh, not so common among those three uh, independent entities mm -hmm. that share this jurisdictional space. So I do know that there is a regular dialogue that goes on between those individuals. They're constantly checking in.